Okay, so I'm going to give a demonstration of how to check your RTL performance. So I just had a flight, um, and on the first uh, flight, um, my RTL did not return exactly to where I took off from. It was about at least five meters away. So I'm going to analyze why that happened. So the first thing to do is uh, I've connected my APM2 uh, to my um, computer with a mini USB cable, of course. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to download my logs. So I click this, and then the log download button. Sometimes this doesn't work, and I get a little error, COM port, you know, can't open, something like that. Uh, but usually, if, if that happens, I just push this a bunch of times, and then quickly push this button, and then it seems to work. Then I end up with a list like this uh, of the, you know, the files available on the data flash. Um, this one, I can look at the lengths of them here. This one is too short, so I think this is just while I was you know, after I had the, the APM2 connected to my machine, it created some log files. These two are longer, uh, and these two must be from the two flights that I had. So I would click these two here, and then I'd click download these logs. Now, I've actually already done that. Uh, so the logs have appeared over here on my in the same location where I installed the, uh, the mission planner in the logs directory. And remember, I downloaded two and three. So here are the, here are the files, all ending with two and three. Uh, that uh, that were just created there. I'm going to put these into a little directory uh, to make it easier to find them. Call it uh, Randy RTL 02 Feb 2013. I'm going to copy those files in there. So I'm going to grab all of these guys. There we are. So here's our files here. Uh, okay, the interesting ones to look at are the KMZ files as a starting point anyway. Double click on that and then you end up with Google Earth. And inside of this I will see all of the testing that I did and all of the different uh, flight modes. So I'm not interested in all of these. All I'm interested in really is the RTL. In particular this one. I'm going to look at these two paths here because what I did during the test is I took off in stabilized mode and then I uh, switched into RTL and I did not return exactly where I was going. So I look at this. First of all, stabilize. So where did I take off from? I know actually that this is where I took off from, right here. And then the RTL point, yeah, you can see the join. Here's the join here. Right. This is the join where I switched into, this is from stabilize into RTL. And then if I come back here, I see that in fact it did not come back to the starting point, which was here. It came back over here. So what happened there? That's very strange. Why did that happen? Why did it not land here? It landed over here. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open up the file in Excel. Data flash file in Excel. So I go to that logs directory, and it was number two. So this time I'm going to go for the .log file, not the KMZ file. Open this up in Excel. It is a primarily a comma separated file, so I go delimited, get rid of tab, it's comma, but also some of them are separated by a little semicolon. So I use those two, and then just finish. So here we are here, I can see a couple of things like the RGCopter version that I'm running, you know, whether I got an APM2 or 1. I can see a whole bunch, and then a whole bunch of settings are displayed, the different flight modes that I have, um, you know, and then a full list of all the parameters that I have in kind of unsorted. Actually, it's sorted by the um, by their um, by the parameter number. So that doesn't really mean much to humans, but uh, that, that's why they're in such a funny order. Uh, you can, you know, if you're really interested, of course, you can just sort them like this. Sort them by the first column, and then you'll get a list that appears just like it does in the advanced parameters list in in the mission planner. Anyway, that's just a side note. Um, so anyway, what I'm interested in is uh, the RTL location. So why the heck did it come back over here? So 
Um, next thing to do is to apply a filter. So I look for the startup line and then the very next line below that, which is normally a mod stabilize. I just put a select this whole thing and put a filter on it. Then I'm going to look for EV mod changes and commands. Here we go. Now, this, I, I know uh, that this is a disarm command. So I'm just going to color the disarm commands with red. And event 11 is a disarm, and event 10 is an arm. So, uh, and these actually are, um, these commands here are the start position. This is where it's actually setting home. So if you widen these out, you can actually see that this is a lat, this is a latitude, and this is a longitude number. So here's my art, here's my, which one is which now? This is the one, so this is the second RTL that I'm looking for. So let me, let me just for a moment only look at the mods. So this, this is the guy I'm in. These are the two guys I'm interested in. These two guys. Then I'm going to go back to command and event. Let's see here. So there's our two guys. So this. Okay. So it's quite clear that actually what I did is I took off in, I don't even remember doing this exactly, but I took off in stabilize. I then landed disarmed and then rearmed again. Right? When I rearmed my um, this is what what the new home position was set to. And I can then take this number. I can take this number. It needs actually it's missing the point. So I need to put the point in there. So that's the real latitude. And here's the lawn is this. Gonna be this with a little point in there, and now one tricky thing I can do over here is I can on Google Earth I can click this little new place mark, and I can actually put the numbers in there. So take this latitude number, stick this here. Take this longitude number, stick it here, and go. Oops, I'm gonna call it home, home A, whatever. And there it is. So that's where it was trying to get to. And did it really get there? Well, it, it got within about two meters or so. So maybe it slightly overshot. It was a little bit windy. It, it did try to come back. You can see it's trying to come back on its way down. So it looks like it overshot a bit and then tried to come back. So it was not quite as crazy as originally thought. It was not trying to get to here. It was trying to get to here. Um, hope that's helpful.